I'm a, a painter from Sydney, Australia. Uh, my name is Vincent McGee. Uh, I grew up in Brisbane, in Queensland. My grandfather was Australian on my mother's side, um, and my mother was born in, in the UK. Uh, my father's from Derry in, in Ireland. Um, so yeah, I'm first generation Australian. Yeah, I was contacted by the Walls Project probably three or four months ago. They mentioned that they had some funding from the, the local government to kind of create a few projects around. So it's, yeah, it's nice that the Cork City Council's put, you know, putting those resources up. Yeah, working with Gabe and Adele from the Walls Project, uh, it's been great. It's the second time we worked together. I did Waterford Walls in, in 2017, which was, which was really cool. But uh, yeah, it's nice, it's nice to be able to work in Cork. It's my first time here, so um, it's nice to explore the, the, the south of the country. I've always kind of hovered around the north when I visit family and stuff, so. Like my work really centers around storytelling and uh, the journey. So yeah, I mean like migration is, is sometimes a common theme in my work. It just really depends on the location. I mean, the kind of theme of the journey and migration fits beautifully for Cork because it's, uh, it's a port city, for, first of all. And it's kind of always been a, a site of, of exchange between Ireland and the outside world. I mean, there's a lot of migration here over the years. It was a Viking settlement originally. You had a lot of like Protestant migration, like the French Huguenots came as refugees. And then after that, you obviously had the, the Irish famine and you had a lot of people leaving here. Yeah, migration and cultural exchange has always kind of been part of the story of Cork, so... And that's ongoing, you know, there's, there's new migrants coming now, like obviously with, with the, the economic situation in, in Ireland improving in the last, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, um, for the first time in history, or well, for one of the first times, there's kind of large amounts of uh, migration from, you know, Africa, the Middle East, places like this. Um, so I was kind of interested in that side of the story, not just the history of migration, but what's happening now in the city. And, and um, so the work kind of is, is themed around that, really. Um, the, the person's uh, from an Iranian, French Iranian background. So, um, you know, migration is part of her story personally. Um, and she is kind of representative of, of some of those, those uh, demographics of new migrants that are coming in. Uh, the flowers that she's holding are actually, I did some research into the, the wildflowers in Cork and um, I found it quite interesting because in the last four or five hundred years there's been different wildflowers coming in from all over the world on ships and they've taken and, and they're just kind of part of the, the, envir the environment here now. Um, and I thought that was quite um, poignant and kind of symbolic of, of uh, the role Cork plays in, in Ireland, you know, as a, as a place of exchange. So also in the work is, is kind of a, a silhouette of a coffin ship, which is um, obviously tells the story of the migrants that left during, during the famine.